Hey, what's going on guys, coming again in the year. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate a Python script that I've created to download packages for Tiny Core Linux from the Tiny Core Linux repository in the TCZ format and to do this uh, from the outside of the Tiny Core Linux system itself. So just to give you an idea why this actually might be needed. So uh, let's consider the following thing. So I'm, uh, I, I want to start the Tiny Core Linux uh, by the QMU. Uh, I'm running the 64-bit uh, version of Tiny Tiny Core. Uh, actually, it's probably called Core Pure, Core Pure 64 ISO. And uh, uh, this is the very uh, stripped package. It doesn't have uh, pretty much anything on it. Just 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 the core itself. So, for instance, if I run this on my laptop, uh, I won't have the network support because it doesn't have uh, the Wi-Fi firmware and the Wi-Fi shell uh, script to connect to the Internet. Uh, and also, it doesn't have any software uh, other than just whatever, like BusyBox packages, and that's pretty much all about it. And uh, one of the casual ways of doing things, uh, if you do connect, uh, if you do specify the TCE folder uh, for Tenicor uh, extensions uh, on the bootable device you're booting from, and then within the Tenicor itself, you start downloading uh, or even bulk downloading script using the TCE load uh, shell script. Uh, in this case, uh, on the next reboot, you will have all those packages being installed and available. But in that case, if you want to remaster your ISO, you need to walk through additional steps. And when you're trying to do this like 100 times a day, it's, it's really exhausting. And I've been, I've been through that already. And it's not really the way to go. So what I decided to do, I decided to uh, make it that script that actually loads to, to, uh, to download those scripts like from, uh, from the outside of, uh, of the tiny core itself. So uh, here... Uh, here we have, yeah, we're logged in. So for instance, uh, in this video, we're gonna be installing Nano and Vim. So no Vim, no Nano, no Vim. So this is the, the, very, the very basic installation. And for instance, if I say TCE load, and this is the standard method, and I say minus W to download, I to install, and say Nano then it would go to the repository, uh, download the packages, would automatically resol resolve the dependencies, and uh, probably I got my internet down, or what the heck is going on here? I'm not quite even sure. Uh, yeah, this is strange. Hold on a sec, guys. Okay, finally, uh, the network is fine, so um, I actually... I'm now downloading uh, the nano text editor from under the Tiny Core Linux. So this is how it's done, like using the standard tools. Same for all the rest of the packages. So I just say TC load uh, and loading this this package and installing the package. And also it's uh, installing the dependencies recursively as well. So it loops from loops through the dev files uh, for this things. Uh, for, for for the packages and it also downloads uh, all the all the dependencies recursively. We, we will have a look at that just just right in a moment. Um, all right, and yeah, and we got it. So now if, if I say nano, then I have the nano text editor. So far, so good. So far, fantastic. Okay, um, uh, let me just close this. I don't need this anymore. So if we go to repo tiny core Linux net. And then, like say here, for instance, so here we have the repository for x86, and I'm I'm in particular using the repository for 64-bit uh, packages, this TCZ. And here, for instance, if I'm looking for nano, here is the nano TCZ. So here, if I say nano.tcz, uh, it would just download this uh, this single nano, but without but, but without dependencies. And obviously, this is slow. If I do um, if I do nano.tcz.dep, uh, it would give me the dependencies. And if I say tree, for instance, it would like print the, uh, the dependency tree for for nano with the nested dependencies as well. Anyways, this are getting resolved automatically by my script. Uh, so we're gonna be uh, like fetching the data from from this from this repository and. Uh, doing uh, and, and storing that to the TCE folder. So let me drop back to 
so I want to go to TCE downloads. Yes, TCE download in here. Uh, so here is uh, here is my TCE folder. Uh, let me just remove this. So RM RF uh, TCE. So I don't no longer have it. So how to use the script? Um, let's get the download. Uh, download LST. So here we have the packages. So these packages are those I'm about to be installing, right? And then let's have a look at uh, the TCE download pi. So this this is the script uh, that does uh, does all the stuff. And all you need you may want to change here is the rep is the mirror. So currently goes for uh, x86 64. If you want to use the 32 bit versions, you can just get rid of this. Uh, underscore 64 and be good with this and what it does here it just loops over the downloads from the download dot uh, LST uh, and if successfully fetching them it just appends those downloads to on boot dot LST which will then gonna be using uh, so uh, it doesn't get checked for MD5 checksum that's the next thing it, that is within my to-do list but it works without that as a proof of concept as well so let's move away from here now if I simply say Python 3 and TC download the Pi, here we go. So it will now connect to the repo and try to get all of these uh, all of these files we're looking for. Meanwhile, fetching the dependency. So you remember this file is the dependency of the nano as the as well as the leap LZMA, and this bzip is also. And after this is gonna be uh, Search uh, like downloading the Vim and dependencies for Vim as well. And by the way, Vim is also using Anacursus as a dependency, but since it's already been fetched by the like being fetched for Nano, it's not going to be duplicated for Vim. Uh, anyway, it would be overriding, but just just to save time. So here we have uh, our Nano and Vim packages being fetched. So at last, now we get this TCE folder. So if I go CD to TCE. And we have on boot list, so let's get this on boot list. So we have this. So this nano and vim would be loaded if we uh, add the TC folder to the USB flash drive, right? And if we go to optional, and here we have all the dependencies, uh, including the nano and vim themselves. So all we need to do now is uh, actually to burn the ISO, the the basic. Uh, the minimal uh, ISO without anything to the USB flash drive and uh, then just copy this DCE folder to the root of the USB flash drive. So to make it easier, uh, I'll use the GUI tools to, to get done with this. So I'm going to be using Gported. Um, Gported to form the USB flash drive. I already have this plugged into, into my laptop. You'll now see it. So here is two gig, two gigs flash drive. So unmount. Um, now I'm going to convert this to X4 and apply, and it just it just removes everything from the year. Uh, close. Yes. Okay. Now I want to mount this again to make sure the unit booting is not uh, giving an error. So here, yeah, here we go. Yes. Okay, um, now I'm going to say, so I'm going to say sudo unit booting and I'm going to burn this uh, core 64, core pure 64 current ISO, right? Uh, unit booting, come on, Are you there? Oh, it's already here. So disk image and I'm going to root home cmk desktop. And this core pure 64 current ISO open and let's burn it. So now just installs the files, installs, I believe, grab bootloader, and this is done. And if we have a look at our USB again, then what we have here, we have a bootable USB flash drive produced by unit booting. So if once if we if we open this as the root, because otherwise it's not gonna allow us to bring something in. And here, simply, very simply, I'm just going to my TCE folder. So I'm going to TCE downloads and grabbing this TCE and copy and paste it to the USB flash drive. 
So here we have the on boot list and the packages themselves. But this is already fairly enough to to boot from uh, from from this. Uh, the only thing, well, uh, in this particular setup, uh, I try to to change the boot codes right on the USB flash drive, but some, for some reason it didn't quite work for me. But uh, if I do this beforehand, like actually remaster the ISO, then it works perfectly well. But just for the sake of uh, clarity and just, just to demonstrate things, I'll now reboot my computer and kind of take my smartphone to show you how to manually enter the boot codes to uh, make this uh, additional packages that we've just downloaded being available under, uh, under this uh, USB live USB flash drive. So let's have a look. So let's restart. Um, and here we go. Okay. So in my in my laptop, I'm pressing F12 to enter the boot options. I'm selecting the diskette drive to to load from. And then it would take it takes me to the unit bottom to the unit button thing. So here, um, if I just uh, go like this, nothing would happen. If I just go like this, my Nano and Vim are not going to be available. So to make sure they are available, I press tap. And here, I'm sorry, I'm going to be typing with one hand only. So I say wait, USB, and let's give it five seconds, for instance. Then I want to say TCE, which pr provides the TCE folder, which we're supposed to be. Uh, uploading like loading the packages from I say SDB because that's exactly how my USB flash drive here is seen uh, by the by the Linux kernel and well I can provide some more options but this is this should be fairly enough already to to get those things downloaded so the kernel is, is getting initialized all right put in the kernel uh, yeah I didn't enable the show apps option to show how actually those gonna be uh, going to be uploaded but anyways now if I say uh, nano for instance remember that's exactly the same version that I sh I've been showing you in the virtual machine then suddenly ban and we have the nano so far so good and even more we have vim which is absolutely amazing so this is how we can download the packages from the outside of the tiny core Linux itself bring things together and have a system with already those packages installed that you're interested in. This is it from my side. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, and take care.